we have four candidates for the Parish Council, District 4. Keith Dennis, Gary Leonard, Kathy Seiden, and Timothy Smith. My name is Keith Dennis. I'm running for Parish Council, District 4. I'm committed to public service through elected office and volunteer opportunities. I know that what I do has a purpose that is bigger than one person. It is about improving people's lives and making St. Tammany Parish a better place to live. St. Tammany Parish is in desperate need of experienced leadership that can build positive, productive relationships and start working on solutions from the day of the election. We can't afford to have on-the-job training with the issues facing the parish. I have governing experience through serving on the Madisonville Town Council. I've had a very successful term by working closely with my fellow council members and the mayor. I have experience in budgeting and management for the town of Madisonville. Each of these three years, the town has had a budget surplus. I've built relationships with many entities such as DOTD, Coast Guard, FEMA, business leaders, state representatives, and parish representatives. I have 30 plus years in business management experience, which includes budgeting, inventory control, contractor management, payroll management, customer service, and above all else, being held accountable for delivering results. In my 40 plus years of living in St. Tammany Parish, the quality of life has always been outstanding. We have much to be proud of. We have a great education system that consistently rates among the highest in the state. We have amazing natural resources, including our trees, rivers, lakes, bayous, and state parks. We have a robust healthcare industry operating in our parish. We have a wide variety of amazing restaurants and event centers. The biggest challenge facing the parish is the $20 million deficit. This is a complex issue that will not be fixed overnight. Council members must work together with parish administrators. Designating funding sources and expenditures must be reviewed to ensure efficient use of funds. We must look forward for opportunities to eliminate waste and work more efficiently to decrease costs and reduce time to deliver. There must be a comprehensive plan to renew millages. Residents must be informed well in advance of renewals to ensure the impacts of the millage are fully understood. Our community wants to continue to have the quality of life that we all enjoy but they also want to know that the council are good stewards of their tax money. Infrastructure improvements have not kept pace with growth. Some of the main issues include traffic flow, road improvements, drainage, flooding, coastal protection, reliable drinking water, just to name a few. There are solutions that have not been fully explored due to the infighting amongst leadership. I would look for ways to speed up delivery of existing projects, for the issues without a clear path forward, it will take a fresh set of eyes and thoughts to come up with workable solutions. I have the experience to bring new ideas on how to solve the issues. In the long term, the biggest challenge is finding the right balance between responsible growth, affordable living, and quality of life. The council has to make tough choices by listening to all parties and then explain the rationale for decisions to constituents, developers, and business owners. This requires transparency and consistent communication. Businesses and residents should coexist in harmony by providing a growing economy that embraces affordable living and infrastructure that supports the current and future population. We must preserve and build on what makes St. Tammany great. In closing, I'm the only candidate for District 4 that has been elected to serve the community and knows the inner workings of municipalities. I look forward to bringing this experience to the parish level. I am a fiscal conservative that believes in a balanced budget. If you don't have it, don't spend it. Thank you for your consideration and I hope to earn your vote. First of all, thank the chamber for allowing us to uh, get our messages out over the internet like this. It's a great opportunity uh, for us all. Uh, hi, my name is Gary Leonard. I'm running for the St. Tammany Parish Council District 4. Uh, I'm married to Susan Tinkstrom Leonard. She's the our current Justice of the Peace in Ward 4 right here in Mandeville and uh, part of Madisonville. And uh, we've been married for 38 years. We have two wonderful daughters and two beautiful grandchildren. Uh, I've been in specialty pharmaceutical sales and oncology in particular for 38 years. Uh, well, a little over 35 years. I'm sorry. I was married for 38 years. <laughs> And I served as a reserve police officer for over 20 years. 
Um, in both of those capacities, I was in a supervisor manager position in sales, won President's Club a couple of times, and also was officer of the year a couple of times. Um, both In both positions, I, I think I learned a lot about managing not only uh, tens of millions of dollars in products, but also people. And I think I can bring that to the council. Also, I'm on the board of uh, uh, directors for the um, uh, Concerned Citizens of St. Tammany. And, uh, and you know, of course, we've been re helped be responsible for removing some of the corrupt elected officials in our parish. Uh, well, let's get down to the, the real meat of it. We know what's facing us in the parish. And the, the elephant in the room is the, is the, uh, the budget. Uh, we all know and realize we have issues of overdevelopment, traffic, drainage, heavy tax burdens and millages. But without even considering all of those, our budget is the biggest issue right now. Um, my idea is once elected, after the fir literally the first day we meet, is to call for a tax summit. And that tax summit would be all the, par the parish president, all the council members, the sheriff, assessor, clerk of court, DA, everyone who has a stake and as an elected official in our parish to get together and see what we can do to address some of these uh, issues as far as the budget goes. Um, one way I, I think we could do it is, is to reassess and, and redistribute some of the uh, millages and taxes that we have uh, in our parish right now. I believe that, um, let's face it, some, some departments have a little bit extra money than they need, and, and obviously uh, some don't. Um, immediately, I believe we can shift about $15 million from the, uh, the uh, road uh, taxes um, I, without interfering with any current projects, especially some of the roundabouts that are going in in Madisonville. Um, the parish president's office is, is not operating on a, a big budget, only $30 out of $1,000 in millages per year uh, goes to the um, uh, parish president's office. With that said, I think we could probably up that sum. I, I did speak with the district attorney uh, and he likes an idea of perhaps a fee uh, that would be assessed by the clerk of court. And that would help us alleviate some of the budget shortfalls with the jail and justice center since his tax failed last year. I, I really believe that would be a fair and equitable way of doing that. And let's see, lastly, got a couple more things here. I, I really want to get in before the end of my time. Um, if we really want to follow our taxes and our tax money, we need an inspector general in our parish to closely monitor how our millions of dollars are spent. And I would also call for a parish wide all agency forensic audit so that all the waste is exposed and we become more transparent as a council. I wanna thank the chamber once again for all you've done for the community and for all you've done for our can candidacies in district four and other races as well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kathy Seiden and I am deeply committed to the future of our beautiful parish. I'm here as a dedicated member of our community, a mom, a businesswoman, and I'm a candidate for Parish Council, District 4. My family and I moved to Mandeville a little over 20 years ago, and we were looking for a place to call home, raise our children, and make wonderful memories. And that's what that's what St. Tammany has been to us. And um, however, uh, over the years, as our children have grown, we've seen that they've been... Uh, They've explored opportunities in other states, and I've seen firsthand the challenges that our community faces. I know our kids are leaving, and I want our best and brightest to stay here. And, and they're not leaving because they don't love the area. They do. But they're looking for economic opportunity, and they're looking for better quality of life. And so that's why I've chosen to run for, uh, for St. Tammany Parish District 4. I want to address these concerns and ensure that we remain a place for our children and future generations they want to stay, prosper, and contribute. I'm a firm believer in responsible growth, and I want to emphasize safety, and I have a commitment to education. These are the cornerstones of the vision that I have for our parish. We need to grow in a way that benefits all residents, and I would like to ensure that economic opportunities are available to everyone. Safety is paramount, and I will work tirelessly to ensure that our community is prepared to handle emergencies and keep our residents safe. 
And I'll also bring back common sense solutions to our problems. And as for our future, education is the key. We must invest in our schools and educational programs to provide youth with the tools that they need to succeed. But my approach in addressing these challenges is not one dimensional, it is comprehensive. I see the need for collaborative task forces or um, committees, bringing together representatives from different sectors, including local businesses, residents, and community organizations. These groups would focus on specific issues such as public safety, development, and budgeting. By leveraging the expertise and perspectives of our community, we can develop comprehensive strategies to really tackle these problems effectively. And beyond our people, our greatest asset is our natural environment. St. Tammany is blessed with breathtaking landscapes, our pristine waterways, and a rich biodiversity that sets us apart. Our environment not only enhances our quality of life, but also offers opportunities for recreation, tourism, and ecological preservation. Protecting and responsibly managing our environment is not only our duty, but our, it's, it's essential for maintaining the charm and appeal of our community. So in conclusion, I am deeply committed to this parish. My family's roots run deep, and I want to ensure that our children and generations to come can thrive in this remarkable place. Together, we can find the right balance between growth and preservation build a safer community and prosperous community and protect our natural treasures. I'm humbly asking for your support and your partnership in this vision. So thank you so much. Good day, everyone. I am Tim Smith. I'm running for district four as people's voice. Because for too long in district four, we have had taxation without representation. It's time that we all have a voice, regardless of who we are, where we live, and what we do in this district. I'm a father of two wonderful sons, one a graduate of Manville High, another a student at Manville High. I've been married to my beautiful wife, Heather, for almost 18 years, and we are proud to call District 4 home, along with our fur babies. As a decorated disabled Army veteran, proud to have served my country, now eager to further serve this community, that I have and continue to raise my kids in. As a resident of this district for 20 years now, an employee of this parish, I know firsthand the many challenges that it faces, but I also see many great opportunities for it as well. Like many of you, my biggest investment is my family and home, quality of life we enjoy living in St. Tammany. Parish must be protected and strengthened. And that begins with the parish council whose vision oversight help determine the delicate balance between growth and sprawl, how zoning rules shape our communities and the impact our unique environment plays into virtually every decision. My education experience as environmental specialist for both the state and parish gives me a unique and informed perspective on how we can address many of our growth issues, including flooding, sewage, and road issues while maintaining and improving our quality of life. We've never had the level of expertise I could provide on St. Tammany Parish Council. That's why I'm running. My resume is long and my credentials even longer. I have over 20 years combined relevant and proven leadership and management experience getting things done in a corporate structure as well as federal, state, and parish government. While working for the Louisiana Department of Environmental Quality, I played a critical role in the region's and specifically parish's recovery effort following the devastation of Hurricane Katrina. In 2007, I was recognized by state Senate for making Louisiana a better state. During the 2008 financial crisis, I effectively managed significant operational and capital expenses in the private sector, enabling my ability to address the current budgetary challenges we are facing. During the course of my career, I've been instrumental in developing new business, securing and retaining multi-million dollar multi-year contracts, a very noteworthy accomplishment as an environmental and quality manager it was when we attained a very critical Army Corps permit. This marked a historic milestone as we became the first non-governmental entity to connect a private flood protection levy to the federal levy along the Mississippi River. This expertise will only help protect our area in District 4, being able to work with the Army Corps, understanding the permit process, and obtaining these permits to help us as we 
continually are battered by storms. In 2022, I was part of a team that was awarded the Golf Guardian Award for having played a critical role in protecting the golf. It's a very prestigious award and our team with St. Tammy Parish did a very great job with that along with our nonprofit organization, Punch Rank Conservancy. Just this past summer, I spearheaded the streamlining process of the SIP process in St. Tammany, reducing the foot traffic in our office by over 90% by putting it all online. I ask you, who else brings the credentials I do to further enhance our quality of life in the parish? I have the commitment, education, experience, and credibility to preserving and restoring our natural beauty without curtailing smart growth of our community or economy while improving our critical infrastructure for years to come. I ask that you support me on October 14th and tell your friends.